Regardless of the medical emergency, our first responders must be prepared for anything. At Mesa Community College, paramedic and nursing students were put to the test recently in what dramatically looks and feels like life and death emergency situations. We will warn you that some of the imagery in these training scenarios seems very real, so viewer discretion is advised. Here's Deanne Kincaid with the story. Engine 1, Rescue 1, Channel 1. Rescue 1 en route. While paramedic students are being dispatched to a mock emergency, a makeup artist puts the finishing touches on an actor portraying a gunshot victim. Paramedic students who are about to join the workforce train with real-life patient management scenarios depicting typical first responder calls. This two-day intensive training starts in the classroom. You will be completely immersed in the scenario. There are bystanders, there are police officers, there are, are family members, and they are all coached on the acting co component of that. The presence of police and family members brings an element of gritty reality to the scene. First responders are trained to handle the medical and emotional elements at the scene. He's still alive, okay? So we're going to get him to the hospital as soon as we can. We're going to get him help. Yes, please. Okay? Please open. All right. Scenarios are staged in the virtual incident command center and surrounding areas. We like to do it here in a controlled environment so we can control the dynamic nature of these emergency incidents before they go out on their field internship. Theater students play roles in each scenario, along with the collaboration of other departments from Mesa Community College. It includes EMT, paramedic, fire science, nursing, and theater and performing arts. The role of nursing students helps to complete the scenarios. Immediately, the paramedics will go to a scene, find the victim or patient, bring them in while they're stabilized, and then give report off to nursing staff and faculty. This event creates invaluable experience where all the things they learn in class, practice and simulation settings are now put into real um, role playing with real people, real patients, and real medical professionals. <laughs> Actors bring as much realism as possible. When new paramedics get out on the streets, they're more prepared for the tragic scenes they must face. The paramedic students have a chance to work with victims for the very first time, and theater students get to work on an event that simulates a professional film environment. This event was videotaped by local TV stations, as well as Maricopa Community College TV. The next dispatch is for a drowning victim. One of the leading causes of death in our pediatric population is drowning. Shut up, you don't know what the f you're talking about. Stop it! Why is he even in there? Paramedic students respond to a simulated pediatric drowning to experience the stress of that before they get out in the field. Another frequent call is for an acute coronary incident. We actually have a 40-year-old male who is young, having a heart attack, and we're trying to teach our students that age doesn't matter. Actors maintain a consistent performance from on-site treatment to the ambulance and on to triage. Students entering the EMT program take the pre-paramedic areas of study and then apply to the paramedic program. They can become a paramedic all within two years and graduate with their associate's degree. There's also the professional providers track for fire department members. Those who are currently working can become paramedics by going through the program in 12 months. Graduates have gone on to work in hospital emergency departments, ambulance companies, fire departments, law enforcement agencies. The average salary that they can bring in is anywhere from $35,000 to $60,000 a year, entry level. Medical educators say this comprehensive training model prepares our future first responders for a long and rewarding career. I'm Deanne Kincaid reporting for Maricopa Now.